For a while now, I've been kind of obsessing over the post-match detail screen that appears after every match in Smite. And here's why. For every match detail that was tracked, there was someone out there who achieved the highest and lowest total in each category. Those people became record holders and may not have even known. Realizing this, I decided something. I wanted to set a few new records. Normally, the very first, and sometimes only, stat that most people look at is player damage. Player damage is earned by dealing damage to the enemy gods. It's often thought that dealing a lot of player damage means that you played well. And if you haven't dealt enough- I mean, you're fighting 4v5 here. We can, trying his hardest, not able to do anything. But here's the thing, player damage isn't technically required for winning a game of Smite. In fact, the requirements for winning are very simple. Let's take a look at the 3v3 game mode Joust. To win, all you need to do is take down the enemy tower, phoenix, and then defeat the opposing team's titan. Nowhere in there does it say you need to deal player damage. So today, I want to go after a record that flips the script on how Smite games are normally played unlike any other. I want to win a game of Smite while, as a team, dealing less player damage than anyone else ever has. And if possible, I want to win a game without dealing any player damage at all. First, I'll break down how we approached this challenge. Bear in mind, the order of some events were mixed up in this video for it to make coherent sense. Anyways, the rules for this challenge are simple. As a team, we need to deal the least amount of player damage possible while winning a game of 3v3 joust against another team that's actually trying, so no disconnecting or abandoning. But before we could chase the record, we needed to find the existing low score. To do this, I analyzed as many games as possible. I used the Smite API to pull and record the results of every Joust match that was saved on the Smite servers. This turned out to be just over 1 million games of Joust. Mind you, this isn't every game of Joust ever played. After some time, they get deleted off the servers, but this is the best that I can do. I found that the average winning team dealt over 41,000 player damage, with losing teams dealing 7,000 less. Much more importantly, however, the very lowest total player damage dealt by a winning team in Smite Joust was 2,142 damage. That is our starting goal. Now let's get into figuring out how we're gonna win without dealing player damage. First things first, the majority of the map is fair game to damage. Everything you see here in green, we are able to take no problem. However, there are two specific points on the map that we need to develop specific strategies for. The first is the minion wave. Usually, this is one of the most straightforward parts of the match. The wave is only there to be cleared. Without hesitation, these poor, helpless soldiers are attacked as they march forward in a never-ending death spiral. But annoying for us, if you're not careful, the damage meant for them will inadvertently hit the enemy gods. So, to minimize the damage done to the enemy gods while clearing the minion wave, we need to choose a team specifically built for this challenge. But who to pick? To help, we came up with a list of criteria to find which gods would be best for this build. The first and most important thing was that the gods had to have no uncontrolled damage, so we don't end up doing stuff like this. Then we came up with a few other important qualities that the team needed to have, such as non-damaging abilities and damage to objectives. With that in mind, we narrowed down the potential god pool to about 12, 8 of which were chosen for their damage and utility, and the other 4 were chosen for their non-damaging defensiveness. But to further narrow it down from there, we needed a clear idea of our win condition. The win condition is probably the most important thing for us to understand going into this challenge. And in this case, the win condition was definitely going to involve backdoor strategies. 
Backdoor strats have been around since Season 1 of Smite, and they involve going around the enemy team while they are in a completely different part of the map, and taking down their towers or even winning the game. Now, this is a very difficult thing to do as a single god. However, there is one god we considered which would give us a backdoor advantage. Bakasura is the perfect pick for this build, as his ultimate ability allows you to drop minions under the enemy tower. As these minions can take tower damage for you, this ultimately makes backdooring much more viable. Now, there is another way to make the backdoor strategy even more viable, and that's the second contested point on the map the Bull Demon King. The Bull Demon King is the major neutral objective on the Joust map, and once defeated, the most forward enemy defense structure will be disabled for 90 seconds. And because defeating the Bull Demon King also grants a large amount of XP and gold, we want to defeat him as early and often as possible in order to make up for lost progression by not getting any god kills. Because he spawns at the 4 minute mark, the question becomes clear. Can we make a team which can defeat the Bull Demon King when it spawns at the 4 minute mark? And once again, Bakasura and his minions have us covered. Bakasura becomes the first member of our no player damage team. Now, we need to fill the two other spots. The first will be reserved for a god which can deal the maximum possible damage to the tower and phoenix. This narrows it down to Kronos and Izanami, the two gods which had the highest tower DPS in our pool. We ended up selecting Izanami for this run. Although she has slightly less damage output, this was more than made up for by the utility her invisible, non-damaging escape ability provided. Finally, we had to choose from one of our tanks, or interceptors. And although I could go into more reasoning, the choice was very simple. Kumbakarna is the perfect god for this challenge, as his non-damaging sleep ability is the single best tool for helping our squishier god survive. Just before we start attempts, we decided on two items that we needed to buy if we were to have any chance at success. The first is Belt of Frenzy, an active ability which, when used, would allow us to take objectives and towers much faster. And the second is Emperor's Armor. This item slows down the attack speed of enemy defensive buildings, but much more importantly, increases the attack speed of your own. As we're not personally putting up a defense, this will make it much harder for the enemy to take down our towers. And with that, we were ready to chase the record. Why are you taking our shit, bro? God, oh! Dude, Morgan's coming behind you. Did you attack him? Uh, I smacked him. Bro, one minute oh, you're in. so bad. Oh. Dude, we're gonna yeah, lose. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. You. Oh, uh, no. Fuck. <laughs> They're laughing at us. They're gonna girdle or beads first. Girdle or beads. Can we come here for XP, brother? Go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. I don't think they know. I'll start. Yeah, they don't know, they don't know. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, that's uh, insanely fast. Let's go, boys! Oh. Oh, shit. You're dead. Oh! Nope. He doesn't know I'm here! Max! Oh my god! Oh my god, get him! Oh! Are <laughs> we supposed to go attack tower right now? I mean, you can. It's just gonna do hilariously little damage. She's there, so leave, leave, leave. Leave, leave. I don't know if you guys are gonna get out of that one alive. Kimmy! I'm going for you! <laughs> no! Actually. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Two? Oh, Almost the double! They're starting it. Okay. There is something that I need to tell you about so you understand what is about to happen. What we had learned up until this game was that once the enemy team took the Bull Demon King and then our Phoenix, the game was over. They're laughing at us. We would be crushed. So, 
as I ran to the Bull Demon King, with the enemies taking it for themselves, I knew what I had to do. Well, Mac Darn. Ah! I, oh, I, 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 I tried to steal it. I did I did some player damage, boys. You need to take tower. You need to like keep pushing. Cause if 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 our tower goes down we lose, right? Yeah. Your team has destroyed a we gotta we gotta posture very hard right now. Yo, let's just keep pushing, Andrew. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you bought anything. it? Yeah. Just go for it, boys. Just just run. Cammy, run. Oh no, Cammy. Er, Andrew, let's go. Run, run, boys, <laughs> run, do it. Do it, just do it, just do it. Actually, just do it. Can we actually do it? I have no health. I'll delay no, for as long as I can. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Do you have a gurgle? No. Oh. On the way, and the no. oh, On the way. You're pulling oh, them god. off, though? No, it's not good. <laughs> no, 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 oh, this is... Dude. Ah. That's it. <laughs> I don't need some holes. Ah, maybe you can. Ah, well, maybe you can. Dude, it's just gonna die. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then just go for the back door. Just go for the back door. Are they all in mid? Yes, they're all in mid. Go for the back door right now. Go for the end. Like, for sure, go for the end. Yeah. I have to yeah, do this to stop the back. Go, 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 Andrew, go! Oh no, Discordia's backing. End oh it, just God, end no it, end it, end it, end it, just end it, just end it, just end it, just end it. No! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it is really started. <laughs> this is such a clusterfuck. Oh my God, they're both so low in lane. <laughs> oh, so invisible. Oh God. Oh my God! Yeah! <laughs> I hope I didn't die. No, fuck. If we're below 2142, huge dumb. I think I might not be. I mean, maybe. Let's go! I think, I think we did like 100. Damn. Oh, I hit. I whacked someone too. Wait, wait. If you oh, have to win by back, do <laughs> <laughs> There we had it. We had won while dealing 866 total player damage. Beating the first goal we had set for ourselves. But it didn't feel like enough. We knew we could do less. We just didn't know how. No, fuck, I did damage. Okay, I definitely did damage as well. But that's when we had two breakthroughs. The first was that we found a way to deal player damage without dealing player damage. If the Morrigan transforms into another god who has a deployable, like Vulcan and his turret, that turret damage won't count towards the Morgan's damage total. Got him, boys. You can hypothetically get kills without it counting towards your player damage. Unfortunately, using two of your three roster spots for this gimmick would make victory almost impossible. But the second breakthrough was maybe the key to getting the perfect no player damage game. And it's actually an old favorite of this channel. Over six years ago, we used Shielded Teleport as the engine to pull off the cleanest possible backdoors. And although its name has changed, the strategy has stayed the same. Armed with upgraded teleport glyphs, we had only one goal in mind. They all back. He's laughing at us! He doesn't know what's about to happen to him! Very well done, boys! He's I'm gonna use my ult for Phoenix though. So. Oh, they're. Ult uh, they're... for Phoenix? Should we? They're so low, they're so low. They're so... Put a ward down, put a ward down, Andrew. Oh, yeah, it's quiet. We all have upgraded teleport left. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, bro! That's good. Okay, they're pushing up. Yep, I'm gonna let them push push yeah, this up. Okay, right? you, you guys yeah. just chill there. That's yeah, enough, that's enough. I think we can do it, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 they're all, all they're, oh, yes, go now, go now, go now, go now, go, 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 he's, he's there, go, 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 yeah, the one's dying too. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go, boys! Let's fucking go, boys! Let's go, boys! 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Did we do it? We 100% did it. Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh my god. Dude, I'm so nervous. We 100% did it. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh my god! That's so sick! Oh my god, I can't believe we actually did it! <laughs> I'm just eating those 0 and 5, bro. I, I know! <laughs>